Hello, wonderful listener. I want to show you how to create a simple suspended kitchen light. As you can see in this drawing, this is a lamp that you place in the center of the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to create this uh, simple lamp. First thing you have to do is to identify the names of the elements that are used in the creation. For us, this big shell is called the shell case of the lamp. Now, underneath the lamp, we can see another element there. We have the bulb holder that you are looking at. After this bulb holder, you have the white bulb itself. It's a coiled tube. Now, after that, you have another element here called the wire link pipe. The wire link pipe. This is called the wire link pipe. After this wire link pipe, the next thing you see is the wire link cap. The wire link cap. That is this object here. Now, let's go into creation of this object. First, go down to your plan. Your floor plan. The first thing to do is to establish a center a central point that will serve as the center of the object from which the axis of the object passes to we do it this way first draw a line draw another line to cross it now pick a circle pick the point of intersection of the line draw a circle of any radius you feel like now, trim the points of the line that are outside the circle. Now, after you've done this, delete the circle and have the two crossing line left. Now, with these two crossing line left, the central point, the meeting point of the two lines serve as the center of your object. Now, the next thing to do is Pick your section, go to your section, pick a section line, cut a section line through this central point. Now, you are ready to go. One of the reasons why you have to draw your uh, section line is because why construction of this object is going on, you have to view it in the section and also view it in the 3D space and also view it in the uh, plan space. Now let's start. First thing we are going to create is the shell case of the lamp. To create the shell case of the lamp, the first thing we do is go to your object, click on your object, now go to your link libraries. From link libraries, go down to special construction and click on basic shape. Now in this basic shape, click on dome now when you click on this dome you go into setting of the domes move to this place first now look at what you've got here now choose the height of offset of the dome from your level of design now we have 1500 you can choose 1000 but here i want to make use of 1500 so that's okay for me now go down to custom setting now when you click in this custom setting, the next thing to establish is the radius of the dome that you want. Now I have 500, you might choose 600, you might choose 450, you might choose 300, but I want to make use of 500, I will click on 500. Now the next thing I have to do is the thickness of the dome. Now the thickness of the dome, I will make the thickness of the dome to be what? 2. Now the angle of the dome, the angle of the dome i'll make it 360. now when you type 360 now you go to resolution leave it at 36. now at the surface do not change anything there just click ok now come down to the center of the two meeting lines drop the object there you have your dome there now check it out in the 3d watch what it looks like you can see what it looks like here now as it looks this form the next thing to do is highlight the object the dome now the next thing to do is change it to morph move down to convert selection to morph click on you 
can see the information that came out, click OK. Why you have to change it to morph is because we want to paint the different surfaces of this shell with different paints. Now, as you have it turned to morph, the next thing to do is click on your arrow. In this your arrow, the arrow has two types. One is blue. Click on this area, you have the white one. Use this white one. The white one is used for selection of surface. Separate surface like this external surface. I'll click on it. You see that only the outside of the shell is selected. Now go to this place, change the material. Now I like using this paint vermilion. I'll click on it. Click OK. The next thing you have is the outside of the shell turns red immediately. Now you go back again to the inside of the shell. The inside of the shell highlight the outer edge. Now the two, the the edge, the outer edge and the inside of shell is highlighted. Click on it, select material for it. You might decide to choose. You might choose any material you feel like, but it has to be white, something that can reflect the light of a bulb. In this case, I am going to choose um, this. Uh, you can choose paint glossy white. You can choose paint glossy white, or you paint. You choose paint titanium white. Let me choose this object and click OK. Now you see that the inside of the shell is painted differently from the outside of the shell. Now that is done. Go back to your floor plan. Exit this arrow. Change it back to the blue one. Now the next thing we are going to establish here is the bulb holder. The bulb holder. This bulb holder, if you go back to your 3D, look at the bulb holder, the object we have already, look at the bulb holder, what it looks like. You can see your bulb holder, what it looks like. Look at your bulb holder, what it looks like. We are going to create it. You can use slab to create it. You can use a truss to create it. But in this case, I want to use an existing object in the object library to create it. So you move down to your floor plan. Now go back to your object. In this your object, you now click on cylinder shell. Click on this cylinder shell. When you click on this cylinder shell, go and change the settings now what you have here is 1000 change this thickness this height change it to 50 when you have changed it to 50 move to custom setting click on custom setting when you come into custom setting the next thing that is required of you is the shell radius the cylinder shell radius this cylinder red shell radius change it to 30 type 30 there now that you have cylinder radius to be 30, move down to your shell angle, change it to 360. Type in your 360. Then you have your shell thickness. This shell thickness, change it to 25. Now when you have it to 25, you can go back to this cylinder shell radius and change it to 30. Now when you have done that, Leave the rotation around X axis as zero, that of Y axis as well, zero. Then go down to surface, surfaces, and change and pick any material you want for it. In this case, I want to use a metal chroma. I'll click on this metal chrome. When I click on it, I will click OK. Then drop it at the center of the mid uh, the, the center of your object. Drop it there. You have it looking in this form now move to your section go to your section click on your section and view it in the section now your section opens you see where it the object is lying now drag it up drag it up to touch the soffit of the shell now that you have dropped it there View it again in, three, in your 3D and see what it looks like. You can see what it looks like in your 3D. Now, the next thing we are going to create is the bulb. The bulb. You go back to your 3D here. You see what the bulb looks like. It's a spiral bulb. Look at the bulb, what it looks like. We are going to create this bulb and place it here as well. 
So we go to go to the center of this object now. Move to your object keys. Open the object. Scroll down. Go to spiral 18. Click on spiral 18. When you click on spiral 18, go to the settings. In this setting, type in 150 at the height you want the spiral to be. Then go to custom setting. Now when you come to this custom setting, the sweep angle, change the sweep angle to 2880. Now when you change it, now go to this uh, radius of axis line. Type in 40. When you have done that, the next thing is radius of the tube. Change it to 8. Now leave the rotation around X axis, rotation around Y axis, leave them as 0. Change the resolution to 36. Now choose a material for the object. In this case, I have a material already created called energy saving bulb. I'll click on it. Now click OK. Now drop the object in the center. Now when you drop in the center, look at it here. You can see what it looks like. Now view it in your section again. And see what it looks like. It's taking time to open its section because of the resolution. Now you can see it here. Now highlight it and drag it up. Now you see what it looks like. Now view it in 3D. Look at what you have, what it looks like in 3D. You can see what it looks like in 3D. The next thing we have to create here is the wire link pipe. The wire link pipe. When I say the wire link pipe, look at the existing object. Look at the wire link pipe. This is the wire link pipe. This is your wire link pipe. So we are going to create it. Let's go back to our floor plan. The wire link pipe will have to go back to the object case. In your object case here, you can use cylinder to create this wire link pipe. You can use cylinder shell to create the wire link pipe. But in this case, I want to use cylinder shell to create the wire link pipe. I'll click on it. Now when you click on it, you come down this area, change the height, choose any height you want. You can leave it in 1000, you can leave it in 2000, you can leave it in 3000, but the height must be in minimal form that it does not suspend too low, that it becomes a problem in the room. So I'm going to choose 600 as my height. Now when you click on 600, go to custom settings. In this custom setting, you are to choose the cylinder shell radius. The cylinder shell radius. Change it to 10. Now go to cylinder shell angle. Change it to 360. Now you have the cylinder shell thickness. Change this thickness to 2. Now rotation around x axis, rotation around y axis leave it at zero zero then leave your resolution at 36 now choose material for this object now i'd like using plastic laminate click on it then click ok now drop it in the center here when you drop it in the center view it in your section again view it in your section let's see what it looks like in the section You may be asking the question why does it take time for it to load what makes it to take this length of time to load is because of this spiral bulb here this spiral bulb here is the cause now it seems like our pipe 
our link pipe is too large in radius what we have to do we have to go back again and change the radius change the radius you can see it is in 101 change it back to 10 change it to 10 it must be 10 that's okay that is okay click ok it will change back to the appropriate shape we want it to be you decide the little patient why it yes you can see you can see now you drag it up drag it up place it on top of the shell you have to exercise a little patient why the object loads now view it in 3d and see what it looks like in your 3d you can see what it looks like it's looking beautiful then go back again what we are to create this time around is the wire link cap the wire link cap if you check in our 3d our existing 3d the wire link cap is this this conical overton conical shape is our wire link cap we are going to create it as well now you go back to your object in this your object use your conoid click on conoid when you click on this conoid you come to this outer radius of the conoid in this outer radius of the conoid change it to 10 the end radius of the conoid change it to 75 the thickness change the thickness to 2 the conoid angle should always be in 180 degree then the rotation around the start plane change it to 90 degree then go back to your preview positioning in this your preview positioning change the dimension to change it to 150 when you type in your 150 you go back to your custom setting again check and ensure cross check and ensure that everything is okay okay check the resolution as well it is 36 now it's okay click okay now when you click okay drop it in the center of your design as it is in the center of your design due to the position of the viewing of the section you might not be able to see this conoid what you have to do is to rotate it you rotate it 180 degree now view it in your section and see what it looks like observe that each time we come to the section it takes time to load the reason is because of this spiral bulb the resolution now drag it up and place it on the top of the wire link pipe exercise patient for you to lose Now view it in your 3D and see what it looks like. You can see what it looks like. Now the next thing to do is highlight this object. Now change it to morph. Click OK. You may ask, why do we always change it to morph? The reason is because we want to obtain an object that has different surfaces with different things. Now go back to your arrow click the white arrow then click on the inside of this conoid click on it highlight it also highlight the outer edge the top edge then choose material for it here you have glossy white but i'm going to choose a paint titanium white click on it click ok now you have the inside having its own shape Then you click on the outside, change it to the same material that you use for the shell case, paint, vanilla.
Now, having uh, painted the surfaces of the trichromoid, uh, the next thing to do this moment is to go down to your floor plan. Now, at your floor plan, highlight the conoid and mirror it. By mirroring you to press down on your shift control M. Now, having done this, you have a complete tool. View it again in your 3D. You observe that the sonoid now have the opposite part of it completing it as a code. In this view, the next thing to do is you move up to your 3D projection setting, click on it. Now, in this perspective setting, go down to custom axonometry, click on it, move to top view, click on the top view. Now, change the y axis to 90 degrees and x axis to zero that gives you a perfect top view of the object click ok now this is what you obtain now in this case go to your my key cycle the object with your my key then move up to your screen click on select all when you click on select all, it selects everything that is inside the marquee. Now, go up to your file this time around. Move down to libraries and object. Scroll down to save selections as. Then go up to object. Save it as object. Now it will tell you that the top view of the selected element will be used as the floor plan view of your new object. Click OK. Now in this case, you have to create a folder for your object. Like here, I have to create a folder and name that folder Max. Now having created this Max, I will now give a name to my object. I'll call it Kitchen Suspended. Then the kitchen lamp. Open the kitchen lamp. And I'll click save. Ah, it says the library path has the same and uh, the library path, the library path with the same name already exists. In this case, I have to choose another name for it. I have to choose another name for it. But then I have to choose create my own folder type the name as max then in this new folder I have to give and then let's say kitchen lamp kitchen lamp and click on save Now in the details here, click on the details, go here and write the name of the author. Maybe your name might be um, Philip. Philip. And then create, uh, click on change. Click on OK. I haven't done this. Deselect the object and proceed the matching. Now go back to your floor plan. In your floor plan, move to your object catalog. In this is your object catalog. Click on it. You observe that you have a new folder that is named a new folder. In this new folder, you have an object inside it named kitchen lamp. Go down to it. Change the hotspot position to the center. Then click OK. Now drop it on your drawing board and see what it looks like. Now your drawing board. The 
same of your model this is how you create an object now look at it when you click on it when you bring your cursor to it it picks everything in this object showing that it's an object but in this uh, raw object you see that every element is separated so you cannot highlight all of them at the same time so this is how you create your new object I hope you like Please after watching this video So subscribe for our channel Thank you for watching.